Perfect. Sorry. Welcome to our PRBI live session today. I'm your host, Tarunjit Ratan. And today we have a very interesting session planned for you uh, with our member from Italy, Christina Cobildi. She is the founder of Encanto PR, who joins us for this live session, where we will speak about her unique creation, the PR Innovation Lab. You know, innovation in PR is not an easy feat, especially in the middle of a pandemic. And our PRBI member, Christina Kobildi, the co-founder of Encanto PR, will, has actually managed to do that. And she will share all details with us in this conversation today and also help us understand more about PR in her country. A little bit about Christina. Christina and Roberto started Encanto PR 20 years ago. Today, they have an impressive list of coveted clients that keep them ahead of the curve. Brand heavyweights like Pepsi, Blackberry, Burberry, Government of Peru, South Korea are names that they count among the client list. So let's add her on and hear more about Encanto and the social media news released by the Innovation Lab. Just adding her on. Hi, Christina. Hi, hi, Tarun Director. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. How are you doing? Quite well, quite well. It's sunny here in Italy, hot and sunny. So we are dreaming for holiday. Oh, that's lovely to hear. You know, before we get started on this amazing topic, um, can you help our viewers understand how you got into PR? What attracted you to this field? Actually, there is the, a prophecy of my father when I was 14 and I had to choose my, my high school. He said, oh, please choose some subjects uh, because uh, it's good if you go to, to work in PR, in public relations. And at that time, I had a, a different ideas. <laughs> and for the next 20 years, I absolutely <laughs> had no idea what uh, uh, PR, uh, public relations were. And, uh, and I work in different, uh, completely different fields. But once, uh, during uh, my period as a journalist, uh, I, I met this uh, Englishman who had an agency and uh, the proficiency came through. And I don't want to come back. <laughs> interesting, interesting. So your father already knew, right? Yes, yes, many, many years uh, before. And uh, uh, what attracted me in this, in this field is uh, that uh, I love journalism, journalism profoundly. But this job gave me uh, the, the, uh, the opportunity to uh, see the powerful uh, relationship between uh, journalism and company, which is really fascinating me. And uh, I'm still uh, surprised at what uh, changement uh, in society, in opinion leader, can do our job. And um, so, yes, this is getting in pr is one thing and starting your own agency is completely another why did you decide to start your own agency i started just uh, uh, when i met my uh, my actual husband which is uh, the roberto gazzini who i created this with who i created this agency uh, but we say that uh, this agency and capital agency uh, was born thanks to our clients and uh, because some clients that we had uh, asked us for a different services that the, a, a different service that there was uh, in the market at that time right more similar to an internal office but this is the story for all of our agency PR. i heard afterwards so uh, clients uh, built up our agency founded our agency and we say that when one new client enter in our agency, changes the DNA because it, it's a matter of relationship. We become something different because we learn new culture. Uh, now we are influenced by the experience of the people. And uh, this is, our job is an, an amazing job. So uh, it's something that changes every day and uh, make you grow up every day. And, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And we start but with, you, yes. Go ahead, go ahead. We we start with few clients, but big ones. And after eight months, we pitch Pepsi Cola. We won this pitch with Pepsi Cola, which was an extraordinary, incredible 
event of our life because then we stay together 19 years with this marvelous brand. And uh, team few years ago, I actually I couldn't imagine our agency without. Uh, but then uh, we survived. <laughs> it's also, also, and we change it, and we are focused on government now with South Korea. We did uh, lots of good, good job. Awesome. Thanks. But you know, so you have a very impressive list of clients. You have an amazing list of clients. What was the experience like when you pitched for your first client? Uh, actually. Um, 20 years ago already, we started to offer um, branded content newsroom inside companies for internal and external communication. And still, uh, with different tools, uh, we are still selling the same business model. So good, very good branded content uh, for, for now also social media, not just the media, above all media and uh, uh, unreach with the boost and with the, the strength of social media, and then uh, doing uh, a good networking activity. So since uh, the first uh, uh, project we, we offered to the market was just divided like this, uh, branded content production and networking activity. And this is still what we do. Awesome, awesome. And what is what is the media landscape like in your country? Can you can you give us an overview so that you know what when you talk about the PR Innovation Lab, it'll make sense for the viewers from all across the world. The landscape uh, uh, reflected the, 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 the history of our country. We have a country divided in many regions. And so each region has okay. uh, its own media. And then there is another division. It's the north, center, and the south. And so there are other media reflecting okay. the part. So if you want to be active, you have to focus on TV, which is the king in our, in our country, but then also to local and regional media, which are very, very important. So we always uh, uh, work at more level. Okay. And how is PR perceived in your country as a professional? Yes. yes, we have a fantastic professional in, uh, in our country working here, uh, always behind the scene. Um, till some years ago, I would say that advertising agency and social media agency uh, were the most loved by marketing directors. In the, the last few years, uh, I think public relations agency are much more appreciated. Um, for little agency like our agency, it's difficult uh, to have a good ranking. And for this reason, um, we accepted uh, uh, the, the initiative to participate with uh, the initiative of uh, Fundazione Italia Patria della Bellezza, it's uh, the foundation of uh, Italy Land of Beauty. They asked us to adopt it a museum, and we adopted uh, the Museum of Abandonment. Yes, it's, I'm really proud of this, uh, of this initiative. This is a museum uh, that speaks about sustainability as well because it speaks about uh, um, a new concept of urbanism. The museum is made of uh, 70 buildings, abandoned buildings. You have maps to reach by bikes, by bicycle or by car. And uh, with your smartphone, with your smartphone, you have an app inside, and so you can see the story of these buildings. And you can also think right. of the future of them to bring them amazing, to the amazing. And it's no small feat, uh, I believe, with the kind of clients that you're handling and the awards that you won. You guys have done. Your team has done a wonderful job. 
so let's let's talk about your innovation you know you have innovated during the pandemic in 2020 um i'm curious to know more about the incanto innovation lab what what does it mean but everything started with you actually you and pr boutique international because once during a, a meeting with julia labaton of uh, pr red pr in new york she asked uh, uh, she posed the question of opening now a new a new PR agency, and uh, and um, she, she asked, uh, "What uh, would it be? What would it be?" And that question opened my mind completely. And I said, "Yes, we have to to work on this question." And uh, we come back with all our team. We come back to uh, our uh, constellation of experts. We have many experts with who we work and. Uh, Little by little, from the theme of sustainability up to the theme of technology, we start to reviewing our services. For instance, with the video conferencing uh, partner, we uh, built up a sort of internal TV for clients, uh, which, were, which were very useful during pandemia, but is still useful. We can use it for internal interview or for the social media and uh, clients very appreciated it. With the, right. part of the, with the part of augmented reality, the, um, sorry, with the part of the, the, yes, augmented reality, the School of Innovation of Tech Innovation, Instituto Numen, we are uh, offering, for instance, uh, uh, digital literacy, literacy, literacy uh, courses for augmented reality. And we start thinking also of 3D communication uh, products. And then we propose our uh, social uh, media new release, uh, which is uh, now we are producing these services internally, uh, while before we used to buy it. And so with our team internally, we are now offering also, also this. Oh, that's 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 wonderful so the social media release part of it right uh can you can you detail that out a little more what what is how, how have you implemented it yes it's simply a a, a press release written with the rules of sale so respecting the rules of a blog uh, article and it's uploaded on 80 websites that are loved by Google manually. We have okay. to follow a process, uh, obviously, to, to get all this stuff. Uh, but then we uploaded this press release on article marketing website, micro blogging website, talk sharing document website. They are, uh, and we we updating this list all the time because some closed. And so we have to verify something really live. But then your press release is always at the, in the first part of uh, page of Google. And this okay. has nothing to do with the press office because press office means a relationship with a, a journalist and sure. uh, a journalist writing them. This is, a, is an upload of the, of the press release in the, um, in the, in the web. And it's, it's good because it's disseminating your messages uh, and it's useful. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, you also mentioned sustainability as one of the most important pillars of your innovation lab. How? But, you know, um, as I told you before, the, the, the relationship with our clients are very close as, as your yeah. relation. And so um, a client suggests us uh, a chemical Solvay, which was our first client. Uh, Solvay asked us to uh, create a press review every morning uh, dedicated to sustainability because they want to wake up. Uh, they want to wake up to uh, and open their mail with the news about sustainability every morning. And this is a fantastic, simple idea but very innovative. That is an idea of the client, but I want to, to give it to everybody because uh, uh, knowing what happened in the world about sustainability, it's a responsibility that we have. 
Right, right. We should give it um, for free, actually, but because it's uh, it's a very nice idea. It's very it's useful, and um, and then we are doing a blog so they can share, they can go deeper, and uh, and so on. You know, it's not, it's interesting the way you have connected all the dots together to create something which is amazingly simple for your clients. Uh, you also spoke about, you know, when we were speaking earlier, you also spoke about augmented reality products and 3D products in communication. Can, yeah. you, can you share a few examples of how you have implemented this and how it fits into your whole innovation lab? Um, you know, our client, your client, are using the augmented reality already. Not all of them, but, but some of them. And yeah. so, uh, for instance, uh, last uh, last week we worked with some some uh, journalists, uh, international journalists, to a client of us called Kerber, and we were showing uh, to the journalists how, with the glasses of augmented reality in their center, IT center, they could stay near to their client all over the world and solve problems like be staying in Italy. And so uh, this was just an example of, um, that we have, you, we have, we need to push this uh, new technology because it's just uh, something normal for some, for someone. And uh, the, another client, uh, for instance, uh, Casa Umwer, who is a startup uh, e-commerce, they sell uh, uh, blankets. They sell blankets and sheets for right. and they as an augmented reality service inside. So with your always your smartphone, uh, you can focus on your bed and see the new product inside. So wow! Uh, so it's uh, it's something that we have to enter already, and uh, in a very uh, strong, strong way because for someone uh, is normal already. Correct. So, we have to know it. Yeah, but tell me something: is uh, you know, in terms of revenue, is innovation and PR getting you results? I think that uh, let you um, push your brand. Let you not always, uh, obviously, the the. Uh, clients appreciate innovation or too much innovation. They come back to the traditional. Someone ask uh, paper media. They want paper. <laughs> so, yeah. so we live in this uh, uh, situation. But yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, it allows you to be in a different way in the market and uh, survive sometimes and be the first as some others. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, in for between 2020 and 2021, things have changed so much for all of us that I think innovation has become a constant need. But revenue generation, I think, is being faced as a separate challenge altogether, you know, in different countries, in different verticals, in different ways. Um, I think it will still take some time for clients to appreciate the innovation that is being you know, brought in with PR. But how have the dynamics of the PR industry changed in your country over the last one year? I think that our market work, not for all the sectors, because some sectors like uh, restaurants and hotels close completely, but for many sectors, uh, we, we could uh, work uh, as usual in a different way, but we could work. So it was not bad, actually. We lose business, we lose, we lose money, obviously, because that was a, a very, very difficult period. But right. I think it was not bad for all of us agency. Understood. Uh, I, I'm sure everybody had their hits and misses where that was concerned. But you know, what is that one interesting development you have seen in the PR industry in your country? Is there any overall trend that has emerged? Um, I saw uh, many PR agencies link their business to marketing. Uh, marketing, they develop a new business with uh, 
social media marketing, influencer marketing. And uh, I understand we do in somehow also, but I didn't like it because our focus uh, is relationship and we should be concentrated on that. And mm -hmm. which is a very strong level that level that we have, uh, it, which is a different one. And the, 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 we cannot be confused by advertising agency or social media. It's just our core business relationship. And it's very, very strong because you have internal now, internal communication, which is becoming uh, even more and more important. And we have to be there. And then internal communication now is right. so external. So, and everything is a matter of relationship. And so we should be there uh, stronger than ever because of the social connection. Because Absolutely. There, there are many opportunity of relationship. There are not relationship, real relationship, but opportunity. So I think we have lots to do. I don't know how, but <laughs> we, could, we could discuss together. True, true. I think uh, all of us are navigating the same boat, right? To try yeah. and figure out what is going to be the next big thing. But in your opinion, you know, what is the next big opportunity that you see in PR? I think that, I think, uh, I think the strength of uh, real world, uh, boosted by the virtual, but real world. I, I think we have to, uh, you know, we, we, we are live, we eat, uh, we need uh, basic things, uh, and relationship is a basic thing, it's the mother of uh, our life, I think. And so, um, I think we have to, we, we do lots of innovation for the reason that technology is pervasive and we have to use it because it helps us. But uh, the opportunity is to meet each other, <laughs> really. And, uh, and just with the meeting and the speaking, we can uh, um, create something good for, for our world. Absolutely, absolutely. I think relationship is the bread and butter, the mother, the grandmother of our entire industry. There is no debate about that. Um, so, you know, how has, uh, I'm curious to know, how has PRBI helped you in your agency growth? How has the experience been? Uh, during the pandemic was the, the, the point of reference uh, uh, of our agency because uh, we needed to uh, look at outside Italy because Italy was in a very terrible situation. And so, mm -hmm. But all the time, all the time, I always follow the, 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 uh, the owner of the other uh, agency because they inspire me all the time because they have ideas, um, good way to face problems. And so for us, it's a very important resource. Uh, I love the way that you put it. You know, it was a point of reference for us. In fact, um, so my agency is based in India, as you know, and it became a very good point of reference for us, too. I love the way you put that. Um, you know, I, you have been in the business for 20 years now, right? Uh, what's your advice for PR entrepreneurs? Um, I think we should promote uh, ourselves like a client. So uh, like the first client. We should do this. This is my best advice, though, to, to an interpreter. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's the toughest thing to do. You know, PR for PR. Yeah, that's one of the toughest things to do out there. Uh, you tell any PR professional that let's do PR for you, and they'll be like, you know what? I'm busy with my clients. I don't have time for it. But you're right. That's one of the most key things. You have to be good at it yourself. But I'm curious. I want to add one more question to this. Uh, you've actually been working with, uh, you know, your co-founder is also your spouse, right? Mm -hmm. How, has that uh, has that changed the dynamics of your work, personal, professional, and personal life? Uh, no, no. We, we, I tell you more. We live upstairs the, the agency, so it's everything here. 
No, I, I, I really love this because uh, we can stay always together. We are really always busy. And uh, so we, we see each other and we collaborate and we can be a family working as well. So we have no problem. Sometimes we discuss really hard because uh, it's, my husband is not an easy person in discussion. He wants to be always right, and me too. <laughs> so we fight. But uh, then again, uh, this is provoke uh, always uh, uh, the need to find a way to, to collaborate together and, uh, and uh, find solutions. Awesome. I'm sure it would make a fun conversation to for anybody who would be witnessing this in your office. Um, so you know, uh, what would your advice be to the graduating class of 2021, the professionals who want to enter the industry at this point? I can understand. Sorry, I didn't hear. Uh, the PR professionals who want to enter the industry this year, See? what would your advice be to them? Um, I think a very uh, cultural profile, very classical uh, studies. I don't know if it's the answer. Very open-minded person and uh, focus on um, literature, philosophy, something that uh, allows you to understand as much as possible. So open, understand the new culture, because we are living in a multicultural, uh, multi-ethnic and multicultural uh, world. So you have to understand, right. to learn continuously. Um, this is my um, approach, what I, I, I think. No, and it's it's very very good advice uh, anybody entering the industry i think uh, across the marketing verticals would do good to you know uh, understand and imbibe this in their life uh, anything else you would like to add christina no thank you i think <laughs> <laughs> everything thank you thank you so, <laughs> Awesome. On that note, I will bring this discussion to a close. Thank you again, Christina, for sharing your journey with us. I mean, absolutely amazing talking to you. Thank you. A kiss from Italy. Bye-bye. Bye. So that was Christina, our PR BI member from Italy, the co-founder of Encanto PR, joining us to speak about the PR Innovation Lab. Thank you again for joining us for the session. We will see you again at our next live session with another PRBI member from a different part of the world. Till then, you can view all our sessions on Facebook or on YouTube on our YouTube channel. If you have questions for any of our experts, drop us a note in the comment section below and we will answer them for you. See you in the